thank you for joining me on week three um, yes and today we have another special guest put your hands together in a drum roll too it's me I'm the wrong way. Hello, everybody. Nick! <laughs> I am Nick Pelado. I am an art education major at MassArt. What do I do? Mm, <laughs> well, you're a pretty amazing drag queen. I, yeah, I am a pretty good drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a alternate personality. I am Nikki Plato. <laughs> Who you will get to meet later today. Boop. <laughs> so let's get started with the question that brings Nick here today. Um, which is, what makes you feel empowered? So while I answer the question, Nick is going to transform into Nikki Play-Doh for us. It's going to be great. So yeah, let's get started. Woo! <laughs> what makes me feel empowered? You can see I did my journal entry right here. And what you might already kind of expect from me being an artist slash designer is that creating makes me feel very empowered. Um, the creative process is such a roller coaster of emotions, um, and once the final piece is finally done, um, and it's a real thing, um, it's visually and egotistically just so rewarding. Um, I just love knowing that I can solve problems, and um, just creating something from my own mind or from, with my own hands is really uh, something that brings great joy to me, and it makes me feel really strong uh, in who I am and what I do, and that I'm really meant to be doing this for more than just art but for um, anything from like social media to friendships to any sort of competitive aspect of life um, we need to stop ripping each other down and start uplifting each other because um, to me at least when I make someone else's day it's like giving someone the perfect gift um, it's so rewarding to see that smile on their face and to know that um, by motivating others I'm also motivating myself um, sounds a little selfish I guess um, that I love giving the perfect gift or giving other things to kind of make myself feel good, but we should all be doing that um, because we should all be making each other happy and kind of we're all on this one earth as, again, one species of human, so why not help each other out? Amen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, in conjunction with um, uh, uplifting others is I really appreciate when someone um, has the kind of trust in me to ask for help and um, I think that really empowers me because it makes me feel like I'm I'm doing something right like someone really trusts me with their emotions and with their um, emotional well-being or even if it's like physical help like help me carry this chair like wow you think I can carry this chair that's pretty cool <laughs> like um, like I don't know I think that uh, we really need to think about asking for help is not something that's a weakness but also a strength because I know at least from personal experience asking for help can be very very hard um, and it's not something you want to do because you want like I said you want to be the problem solver you want to be the creator you want to be able to do it all by yourself but um, at least recently I realized that you can't always do it by yourself uh, yeah but you can keep joining us as we wait for the final transformation of Nikki Plato. <laughs> Transformation of Miss Nikki Play Doh. So I'm Nikki Play Doh, um, and what makes me feel empowered is putting on drag and getting into drag, putting on the makeup, the wig, the dress. It lets me go out into public and talk to people about gay culture and like the LGBTQ community, um, and it just changes my entire personality mm -hmm. to be able to walk out there strutting in six inch heels <laughs> and be able to talk to people and like on a daily basis like I would never just like walk up to someone and be like hi I'm Nick yeah. and like how do you want to know about like me wearing like boobs and yeah. like <laughs> so it's like it's a total transformation mm -hmm. like mind body and soul oh, of like awesome. getting into drag and 
if I can go on stage and twirl around in a big rainbow tulle gown <laughs> and make at least one person smile or laugh in the crowd, like, that's all that, like, I Aww. need. I don't I'm need... chills. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't need, like, drag queens, like, perform for tips and stuff, but, like, I... Uh, I haven't gotten a tip in all the time that I've been performing because I perform at Mass Art for all the students in the local community for free. And I just love to like talk to people about like the current issues here in America mm -hmm. and like what needs to change and like if drag queens can be like the driving force to that. Yeah. Like I'm I'm there. I'm ready. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much for making your transformation today and joining us. This is such a treat. It's been an absolute honor to be here on Yas. Yes! <laughs> and so, since you're so sweet, I have a super sweet special surprise if you want to oh put out your hands and close your eyes. <gasps> yes. uh, okay. okay. I think I'm going to have to take the sprinkles. That one screams you. Yep. Okay. Totally me. Like... Yes. Lovely. Oh my god. Okay. So let's close out the show with yes. um, just encouraging our viewers to comment below, answer the question, um, like and subscribe if you can, mm -hmm. and um, let us know what makes you feel empowered and maybe go out and empower someone else today. Yes. Um, and you can find me on Instagram at Nikki Plato, N I K K I P L A Y D O U G H. Yes, and that'll be right here on the screen as well as down in the links below. So check her out and follow because it is straight up fabulous. Fabulous, darling. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you again for watching and let's just end this with a beautiful cheers. And let's go. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. So good. Yeah. yeah.